Welcome back everyone. In the past two videos, we learned about query cache and stale time. We got to know that React Query has a default cache duration of five minutes and a default stale time of zero seconds. In this video, let's learn two more configurations related to refetching for which React Query provides a default value. The first one is refetch on mount. By default, it is set to true. If it is set to true, the query will refetch on mount if the data is stale. So back in the browser, every time we navigate to our queue superheroes, the query will refetch. Home, our queue superheroes, and we see another network request. And this is the default behavior, which is similar to how traditional data fetching happens as well. Data is fetched every time the component mounts. Now you could choose to set it to false, in which case the query will not refetch on mount. So set it to false, head back to the browser, refresh, Navigate the first time, the data is fetched. And if we come back to the page, the query data will not refetch. Another possible value you can specify is the string always. So irrespective of whether the query data is stale or not, the query will always refetch the data when the component mounts. Now, if you ask me, the default value of true is probably the best option. Let's now move on to the second configuration, which is refetch on window focus. This option is slightly more important than refetch on mount. Let's understand how it works. Back in the browser, I'm going to refresh the home page and I'm going to open traditional superheroes page and we can see the list of three heroes. I'm going to go back to VS Code and in db.json change Batman to Batman Dark Knight. If you go back to the browser, the list does not reflect the change in name. There is no way for the component to know if the remote data has changed. Only when we refresh, we see the updated name. Let's compare this with React Query Superheroes page. At the moment, we see Batman Dark Knight. I'm going to go back to VS Code and reset it to Batman. If we now return to the browser, you can see the list automatically updates. Our UI is now in sync with the remote data. This is possible because of the refetch on window focus configuration. By default, it is set to true. So any time your tab loses focus and gains focus again, a background refetch is initiated. When the refetch completes, the UI is updated with the data retrieved. And this is a perfectly valid default value, which ensures your UI is up to date with the remote data when your user comes back to the application. However, if you wish to, you can set it to false in which case the query will not refetch on window focus or you can set it to the string always irrespective of whether the query data is stale or not. And this is an important default to cover since as a beginner it would be a surprise if your data is automatically updating when you focus the window. A pleasant surprise but a surprise nevertheless. Hopefully, you now know it is the refetch on window focus configuration that is causing this. 
All right, in the next video, let's see how to pull data or automatically refetch data at regular intervals. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.